love everything vintage. I hunt thrift stores, garage sales, auctions and more for vintage items, furniture to refinish, pieces to repurpose, or just things I see valuing to flip. Occasionally I keep unique items I just can't live without. I'm Original Vintage 71. Follow me on my thrifting and DIY <laughs> adventures. We're having a good time. Don't matter. <laughs> Be sure to watch to the end to see the before and after of this thrifted Salvation Army table. You gonna guard the house for me today? Bobo's a good boy. When I go thrifting, you take care of the kitty and you take care of the house with Gustafur. You gonna take care of the house for me, Gus? I won't be gone too long, I promise. <laughs> oh, the joys of having a pet. Okay, so I didn't think I was gonna make it out to thrift today. Today's Thursday. I went out thrifting on Tuesday and because it was such a good day, I'm gonna head into Edmonton and check out the West End of Edmonton. See if I can find any vintage items to flip for a profit. Maybe some things to paint as well, we'll see. Or just whatever looks great and I think that somebody might like. So let's head out, you guys. Woo! <laughs> Gussie, you take care of the house while I'm gone. Make sure no bad guys get in. All oh, right, I gotta put that in the garage first. Does anybody know after you freeze a jar of pickles, if they're any good, do they go mushy? They probably go mushy. I just found a Costco size pickles under the seat in my car. It rolled under my seat when I went shopping at Costco. Now I smell like pickles. I am going thrifting. Smelling like pickles. Yep, I smell like pickles. <laughs> Definitely smell like pickles. Last time I was at the Valley Village in the West End, I found a Copeland vase and I sold it for, I think it was $120. So I'm hoping to find something like that today. I've been finding some fun things, but I wanna find something that's worth more. So hopefully today I find something. That's worth more. Uh, here we go. And I just tripped. <laughs> it's music going on today. Hope it's not too loud. Here we go. There is an RNL's teapot here with cream and sugar. It's a tiny cream. It's kind of cute though. Well, what do we got here? Little bear mugs and a little bear vase. These are kind of cute. I don't see any markings on those. Stickers are in the way. Look at the piggy. Oh, that is a plastic 2012 piggy bank. Okay, keep going. Dutch brownie pie with cinnamon hot fudge. All right. Oh, look at these flowers. Those are kind of cool. I kind of like those. Probably leave them. Oh, I don't know. I do like them. How much do they want for them? Six fifty each. Hmm. I might think about those because they're kind of cute. They'd look really cute in somebody's garden outside, maybe. Look at the cat. That is a wood carved cat. Oh, the doll. That's totally from my childhood. I had one in blue. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. What does it say on the bottom? Made in Czechoslovakia. That is interesting. Moose uh, creamer. That I'll have to put in the cart. Maybe I can look it up. Okay. I have sold these little guys before. I think I got 20 for one of these bunnies. So for 450, I might think about it. Not very much room, but as long as he has no scratches, he should be good. So we'll put him in the cart. A very worn 
Japan birds. They don't sell really well for me. So we won't be picking those up. Alaska clay. Made in Alaska. Huh. I might have to search that up because I have not seen an Alaska clay before. So I'm going to look that one up. Oh, look at this. This is a koala bear down here. Oh, yeah. Kind of a cute koala bear in its own way. Let's see his nose. I just want to see his nose. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to leave it. Vintage Japan. Oh. oh, look at this guy. Number one dad in a jar. <laughs> that is kind of funny. I actually think I might get it for my dad. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I could get this for my mom for her birthday. <laughs> best, world's best mother. <laughs> oh, there's the kitty, hobbyist kitty. I was looking at this cute little penny bank with chicks and a duck and a rooster on it, but it ended up having a chip. So I did not take it. Today, the music was just too loud. This little guy here, I don't know if it's a skunk or a kitty, but uh, I had a piece that had a mom with three babies with chains, so I'm wondering if that's where this one came from or if it was just sold on its own. So I put it in the cart. I thought it was cute. It looks like it was from the 1950s, so I decided to take it and I'll probably sell it online. Just checking out the kitty, and then I spotted this uh, piece here that had pretty turquoise and tan and cream colors. I thought it was pretty, but I just couldn't decide what you would do with it. And I did a quick search and couldn't find anything, so I decided I would leave it behind to head to the aisles that nobody is in. So we're gonna go down this aisle and see what we can see. These dishes look kinda fun. Green bottoms, dessert dishes. Hmm, that somebody might like them. Yeah, put them in the cart. We're having a poke poker party? Pokey party. <laughs> Sold as a set for $6.50. A poker party? These were made from Gryphonware, and I was saying that the face mugs, I think, were the same company. Um, these are a little worn, so probably not going to take them, even though they're kind of cool. These are cute little bowls here. Twelve fifty, one of six. Rose Bouquet, Johnson Brothers. They got the sticker on top of the roses. Those are kind of cute. For $12.50. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so two dollars each. Oh, I love this color. Hmm. Yeah. Wish there was more than three. If I take these for my house. It is one thing I learned that Royal Norfolk is dollar store. Probably vintage dollar store, I'm guessing. I actually kind of like some of their cups. It's really cute. I might even take it. Oh, and this one I grabbed because I have some of these cups already. Made in England. Chill. So that's coming out with me as well. What else do we got here? Oh, the tiger. Oh, that's a big cup. Whew. That is one big tiger cup. 
for six fifty. I'm gonna search up the tiger cub. So you can go. I got lots of searching up to do today. Don't tie. Not seeing anything else that's completely jumping out at me. Pirates glasses, two fifty each. I already have a bunch of those in my not the same ones, but I have many are there. Four of them, two fifty, and that one's three fifty. Two fifty, three fifty. I think I'm gonna leave them. I've got cups already. What do we got going on down here? Ooh, are these fiesta wares? Oh no, they are not. They're mantles. They kind of got that look though. Same company. Oh, there's the teacups that go with the little dishes, but teacups just don't do crazy good for me anyways. They are pretty. My mom would love them, actually. $8.50 for all of them. I might actually get those for my mom. She likes blue and white. I might have to get them for her. Okay, hold on. They're very pretty Linux. Cup. I have no idea how much that's worth, but it, it's really pretty. Look at it. Hmm, I have to search it up. Oh, and by the way, it's my mom's birthday today. She's in Costa Rica, so I'm going to give these to her for her birthday. Unfortunately, the music got really loud here. I was admiring these glasses marked Brazil on the bottom. I thought they looked really cool. I noticed that there were four of them, so I pulled them out from the back to have a look. And the second one I pulled out looked really nice. I was having a hard time deciding if I wanted to take them or not. And then I decided, yeah, I haven't really seen many like that. So when I grabbed the two from the back, I noticed that there was quite a bit of wear on the back too, so. I changed my mind. I thought these glasses were really cute too, but there was only three. I thought they were adorable. I ended up taking them for my house because I don't mind having mismatched glasses. And I break a lot of them because I have a porcelain sink and it tends to break everything. Okay, I'm gonna take the cute little glasses. And I'm gonna put the bowls back because I don't know, they're just not exciting enough for me. We're gonna put those back. Okay, probably put some other things back too. We'll see. Alright, look at the size of this. $25. That's huge. Holy. What did you put in it? That is huge. Oh. Ice bucket, ice pail. I haven't had any success with those. And a Tupperware pickle pickle container with a, with a different colored lid. Oh, egg beaters, six fifty. Six fifty. Oh, they feel pretty good. I just sold a pair of these for eighteen. I don't have a problem selling them, so I'm going to grab these. People do like them. What else do we have? To oh, it's a Tupperware container. It's kind of a nice shape. I actually use the, I use the Tupperwares I got. I like this. That is a big piece for $7.50. And the red's pretty good on it. Might search it up. It's huge. I have to go in the booth because it's so freaking huge. Check the tape to see if it's going to take the thread off. Nope. It's okay. A little bit off right there, but not a big deal. I think that says tools under there. Hopefully it doesn't say fools. <laughs> I think it says tools. It's kind of a cool thing for a kitchen. 
350 I think I could sell it for like 22 bucks. It's cute. Let's go with the crystal vase. It's pretty. It's so heavy. It is nice though. Got a little bunny here. Oh, I had a little tiny jewelry box with this bunny on it. I think it's Avon. Oh, made for FTDA in Brazil. Yeah. It's so cute. I don't know how much to sell for. I found that one for $5.50. For Easter, you could put some cute little flowers in it or something. Since Easter's coming up, I think I'm going to get that and put some uh, tulips in it. If it doesn't sell, whatever. Not a big deal. These are vintage. I have some like this in my booth and they're not, they're still there. They're not moving. I don't know what you would do with those. I saw this candlewick vase and noticed they wanted $9.50 for it, which for me to make a profit on a clear glass vase, not enough room for profit. This is kind of fun. Ikea. Wow, Ikea. That's kind of a cool candlestick. What is this? It's to hold a candle. I bought my own house with a candle. Made in West Germany. That's kind of cool. I might get that. I couldn't see a price on it, so I threw it in the cart and I was going to ask at the counter. I thought this was a cool cat candle with green eyes for $7.50. I don't think there's a lot of room for profit in it, but I just liked it and thought it was cool. Yeah, it's so I'm going to put it in the cart. I'm not sure where. Maybe inside the Tupperware. An old tin. I'm thinking 850 is about how much you could get for the old tin. So I'm gonna leave it for 850. Cute tin though. No, silhouette with lifetime finish. Oh, lifetime finish. Well, hmm. I don't know if the lifetime finish stood up so well. That, I think somebody else tried to see what that was too. Oh. 450. I don't. I think it's just too scuffed up. It's lifetime finish. Oh, look at this. I think it's probably missing its swivel tray. It's got a few little scratches and things. A little chip here. The only reason I'm paying $4.50 for this one is because it's my colors. So, and it smells good. I'm taking that from my house. Stay positive. And another saying. <laughs> Swan. 150. I don't know if those sitting in my booth right now. Not swans, but I have a deer and it's sitting still. Funny that I said that because the deer sold like the next day. Oh, that's kind of nice. $20. Nice dip and chip or cheese and dip bowl. I was looking at these two pieces thinking one was a sugar and one was a creamer, but they were both creamers. And it is H and K Tunstall made in England. And the name was Autumn. They didn't go for very much, so I decided not to take them. At four fifty each, there was not enough room for profit. Oh, oh look, another cute one. Oop. That's a cute 
cute one. I like it. Another one to try or just to give to my dad for a present because he likes using these ones. I'll throw you in there. Ketchup and mustard, salt and pepper. Cute. How much? Four fifty. Well, you could probably get twelve bucks, but who would want them for your camper? So cute. What's this? In Japan. Oh, it's got some wear on it. It's $6.50 and it's got a little ding that somebody repaired. I grab rolling pins and clean them up with food safe oil and then paint the handles and sell them for $16 to $22. I like the size. That's big. Size. Potato before. Mashed potatoes in your potato. 1050 though. I probably would only get probably twenty two dollars, maybe. So we'll leave the potato for it. Nine fifty each. Hmm. But there's two. I'm gonna have to search up that one. Now, this is blue glass. That I'm going to get for $5.50. I definitely think I can make some money on that one. People do like the colored glass, so that one I'm going to take. And yes, I'm probably going to put some things back in my cart. <laughs> also, these. I have sold bowls like this before. Ten. Fifty-four, six. I think I could sell this for like thirty. So for ten fifty, I think I'm gonna get them. Are those Avon? I think they were Avon. Avon dishes. So we're gonna put them in the cart. Think about it. Not sure we're gonna get this one. Still thinking about it. Gosh, another Tracy bowl. <laughs> and there it is again for twenty dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> That's funny. I'll have to show that to you. The milk glass bowl is chipped, so it's going back. If I can get it out of here. Hold on. That big milk glass bowl back because it had a chip on it. And I was debating even on the price, so. I think I overpaid for the last white milk glass dish I bought. These little ice cream cones. Cone type dishes. Made in Italy. Kind of worn off. They were kind of fun. Too much wear. 1983 oven microwave, USA. Now that's cute. This little holder. It's adorable. What did it want that dish? Must have. Spelt scrap. Very cute. For 450. Now, cool dish, seven fifty. Hmm. Did somebody glue that on there? I think they did. <laughs> they glued that together. That's what they did. Yep. This girl, the kitty planter. <laughs> that is quite the girl. You want ten fifty for her. She was uh, marked 1974. I decided not to take her because I wasn't sure how long she would sit and how much I would actually get for her. And a little too big to ship.
so I left her behind. I think I can make this table look really pretty. So, I'm going to take the table for 30 bucks. I think I can make it look good. This is coming with me. Just missed that one. Or I can see it. So, Goodwill, I spent a couple hundred dollars. I put a lot of stuff back, though. I think I found some good stuff. I know I can uh, make some money off of it, so I'm happy. I'm just going to head in here to Value Village to see what else I can find. Got my handy tape measure in my pocket. Shakers. Those are cute. Can you get the corrosion off of that? Four dollars? Yeah, I might get those. Cow or polka dotty, cowy, polka dotty looking creamer. Teapot here. Little ch cheeky on it, little chicks. It's not marked. Another old teapot. Just Japan. Super plated old teapot. How much do they want for it? $12.99. Marmalade and jam. This one has a spoon, but this one doesn't. These cups. Kitties. Stokes. I like kitties. That's a big one. Humble soup bowl. 2003. That's pretty worn looking. I like these colorful li uh, wine or liquor glasses. They're kind of fun. Plate holder. Well, I could use that in my booth. Some plates. How much do they want? Five bucks? That's kind of a fun plate holder. I'll get it. Like this poor pirate dish. It is so worn. That's very sad. Somebody was very hard to that poor dish. What is this? Five nine and nine. That's for sure. Watching this back, I wish I would have seen the chip and dip bowl with the metal holder. Lots of times the mid-century modern uh, chip and dip bowls are missing their holders. I would have bought it for the holder. I'm thinking this is very picked over in here. I like this uh, swivel tray. You know, some people buy these to put their painted things on and then they turn it around as they paint. $2.99 for that old, very dented tin. That's very dented. $2.99. You can maybe get $68 for it. If that being that dented. Oh, it's chipped. Oh, chipped. And the last thing I found was an old Jesus picture that I decided to take for $5.99. It was very busy in there. I bought the little log salt and pepper shakers, um, the USA bowl, and what else? Oh, that plate holder and a Jesus picture. But that is it. That place was so packed, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's a discount day. That's what I'm thinking. So. Okay, one last stop. We're here at 
Salvation Army in the city. So, see if we can find anything here. Lots of thrifting going on today. This place is busy too. Let's head in. Plastic horse's head. Oh, Blue Mountain Pottery, $6.99. It's a nice big one. I actually like that one. That one up. It's a nice size. And this carved guy. What does it say on the bottom? Can't read it. It's quite the carving. Banks. It's funny. <laughs> what else we got here? Oh, we've got a turkey, a red turkey. Turkey collection. I don't think I want a red turkey. Got an apple down here. Vintage owl mug. Oh, the owl mug. It's cute. Look at the owl mug. Gosh, the donation mug. Oops. Indab. Made in China. It's cool with the doggy mug. Look at this mug here. Saskatchewan. Body Jeanette Glass Gold. With the gold tips. Seven dollars, hey? Eh? Mm. Okay. I don't know, like, like 20 bucks for it. I might think about that one. I might be able to sell it. Mm. No, I'm, it's not enough room. I'm just gonna leave it. It's, a Shawnee, very good boss. I don't know, it's uh, I don't know if we can clean that up. We don't know if we can clean that up. Yeah, it's warm. No good. Oh, look at the cute infant. The, the Blue Mountain Pottery has chips on the top, so it's going back. Here's part. Oh, just eyes. Interesting. Old teapot. Ooh, that's heavy. I could leave the outside black and just fix the because it's so soft, shiny soft. This needs to be more chalky. So I'll do this with the chalkboard paint. Now, I don't know if these are worth anything. I think they're posters that somebody had framed. It's kind of interesting. Oh, hi, I might have to search those posters up. Like Chicago, the musical. Or are these actual just made this way. Riverbend Art and Frame Limited. So I think somebody had these framed. I'm going to look them up. I'll put them in the cart before I do that. See if they're worth anything. Back my battery. 
battery's getting low. What else can we find? I think I'm almost done anyways, but let's just see if we can see anything at the back here. Anything interesting. If you need a TV, there's lots of TVs back here. Oh, I wanted to look at this little table here. Ah, $14.99. Oh, they, they fold? How did they fold? Oh, you can turn it. You can turn it so it can fold. Oh, that's cool. It's like a plant table. I think I'll get that one and paint it for $14.99. So I gave it, a, I turned it, and yes, these fold down. So you just turn the top to make it whichever way you want it to be. So I'm gonna get that for $14.99 and give it a paint job. I'm happy I have some things to paint. Okay, this is good. Okay, not what I thought I'd find here. I'm happy. So I spent 59 here at Salvation Army. I'm hoping that the rent in Chicago uh, framed posters are going to be worth something. I'm going to paint the table and the chalkboard and hopefully I can flip those pretty quickly. Okay everybody, I'm back at home and I'm going to get started on some painting. I'm going to put the chalkboard paint on that uh, chalkboard that has slippery finish in the middle, make it look more like a chalkboard. And I'm going to put some white paint on the window with the hooks. The little table, I'm going to probably do a crackle paint on it because it's got a little bit of water damage. So therefore it's going to look, you know, weathered and uh, kind of hide that water damage. So I'm going to get started. Let's see. What you seeing? You're interrupting my video. I think you're full of it. I think you're full of it. I don't see anybody out there. Sometimes he does this to me. He fakes. He fakes to get my attention. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. For more thrifting and DIY at Original Adventures 71, thanks for watching.